As the tribe emerges from the dark, wet jungle, the tribe knows not what it will see. Bing! A pile of living room and an axe. <laughs> and, and the rest of my shitty living room. Well, one wall of the shitty, li shitty living room, which was has been unfinished for a while. I thought I'd make a quick video. I don't know, maybe you guys are interested in seeing this type of thing. This is a wall in my jungle shack, which is eventually gonna entirely come out, probably close to that window. I'm gonna screen in the porch over here. But let me know if you guys um, are interested in seeing little things like this, as I'll be probably spending some time on it in the next few weeks. I just took these windows out that have been in this freaking windowsill since 1940. This house is old, it's an old plantation house. So these windows were like, you can see them over there on the left, <clears throat> or on the left side of those two windows. They just bug the hell out of me because you open them up and you only get like half a window of airflow and they just, they're just horrible. See this like old technology? Ugh. See, I can't even you pull it out and then you gotta like wrangle the window. So I just leave them open because it's so freaking stressful to even open them up. And now I've taken four of them out of these two windows, which allows the house to breathe a lot more. And uh, yeah, this, this is a pretty interesting house. Like I said, they were built in the 40s. There are seven of them on my street. And you can see this wall right here used to come straight down. And then where this pole is, it used to come right along here and connect to this wall. So you'd like walk into the house and it was this tiny little living room space, maybe, you know, 10 feet by 10 feet, a box. Then there was another box here. There's another box on the other side. The house is essentially like um, six of these boxes, you know, the bo one box is the kitchen. And they'd have like, you know, uh, I think it was 12 uh, pineapple field workers per house. So they have like three guys in each bed, or four guys in each bedroom, in these tiny bedrooms. This used to be a bedroom right here, like there's a door, walk in it, and then right here is the wall. Tiny bedroom, four workers inside each room. So anyway, so long time ago, this wall was taken out, um, and now I'm finishing it off. I'm going to take off all the rest of that garbage that's just kind of doing nothing at all. And yeah, let me show you these windows um, that I took off the... Uh, I'm going to turn this into like a little screened-in porch. McKenna's treehouse project there. Give me two stories of fun. <laughs> Check this out. So I took these windows out. You know, old glass pane windows. Um, and see all that right there? You guys guess what those are? Gecko eggs, baby. Hundreds of gecko eggs. I don't mind the geckos, they're actually pretty cool. They eat insects and whatnot. But I was always wondering where those bastards are breeding. It's like freaking geckos everywhere. So now I know. Sorry geckos, I had to freaking take your, they're like, yo, check out my little gecko crib. And I just demolished it. <laughs> But anyways, it's a slow work in progress. I'm trying to make everything look a little better. Like, I'm kind of happy with this look here. But anyways, let me know in the comments below if you want to see this type of thing. If you don't, I don't know. I might throw in a video every now and again if you do. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Axe dive. <laughs>